the Passa Pinky manual. Today I will show you how to wind the yarn around the needles to prevent holes when short rowing. It took me almost two years to understand how to do it the right way and finally I found these diagrams. Let's go to the machine. The racking handle is in its upper position and I have raised pushers and the row working needles on the front bed. When making heels you have to leave one third of the pushers in working position. So in my case I have to divide 20 by 3. This means that I have to put 6 pushers in resting position on each side. The front lock is already set to BX and the back lock is set to GX. The black strippers are inserted and the main yarn is in the eyelet of the lock. We are ready to start knitting the short rows. If you are knitting a sock first use the orange tool to take the pearl bumps from the last needles on the front bed and hang them into the hooks of the last needles on the back bed. Don't pull the stitches behind the latches, you need to have two stitches in the hooks of the last needles on the back bed. This tip came from Diane, I tested it and it works fine. This will avoid the formation of a big hole at the beginning of the heel. Now put the leftmost pusher in resting position and knit one row. Move the edge spring, slightly raise the needle, take the yarn from the lock and wrap it around it. Then close the latch and place the edge spring back in its place. Put the rightmost pusher in resting position and knit one row. Move the edge spring, slightly raise the needle, take the yarn from the lock and wrap it around the needle. Now close the latch and return the edge spring on the needle. Put the leftmost working pusher in resting position and knit one row. Slightly raise the needle above that pusher and wind the yarn around it. Put the rightmost working pusher in resting position and knit one row. Now wind the yarn around the needle the same way. Put the next pusher in resting position, knit one row and slightly raise the needle above that pusher. I will show you up close. This is the leftmost needle with the pusher in working position. The yarn goes behind the raised needle. You have to take the yarn and wind it as shown in the video. Put the third pusher on the right side in resting position, knit one row and slightly raise the needle above the pusher. The yarn from the lock is passing behind the raised needle. Wrap the yarn the same way and continue lowering pushers. I will leave the whole process so you can see everything. In my case I have to repeat these steps until I have 6 pushers in resting position on each side. You have to follow your instructions or calculate them yourself according to the number of the working pushers you have at the beginning. For this tutorial I made a sock but the process is the same when knitting short rows. Now I have wrapped the yarn around the 6th needle on the left side. I will raise the 6th pusher, then I will lower the 6th pusher on the right side and I will knit one row. Wind the yarn around the 6th needle on the right side. From now on we have to raise one pusher on the side of the lock until there is only one pusher in resting position on the right side. We don't have to wind the yarn around the needles while raising the pushers. By the way you can show me your support by liking the video, tell me did you know how to wind the yarn around the needles or is this something you are just learning? At this point we don't need the pushers anymore, you can put them in resting or out of working position. Now set both locks to CX. You have to continue knitting tubular to make the rest of the sock. Check the needed rows in your instructions file. And that is the final result. I think it looks pretty good but tell me if you know something that could be improved. That's what it looks like on the inside, there is not a single hole.
Maybe I have to use a bit tighter stitch size setting, I mean something like one or two clicks on the stitch selector dial. Now I will share a few additional tips with you. After winding the yarn you can tap several times on the needles using the orange ruler. That way the lock will move easily while knitting the row. Your experience and comments are very important so I'm happy when you're sharing them under the videos. Now the next tip. When knitting the row to the right you can hold the yarn above the eyelet to avoid loops from forming on the side. You can see it once again. Sometimes the yarn gets stuck between the pet and the stripper and this will result in a yarn loop so you can reinsert the stripper before knitting the row. And the last tip is about the weights. You must have a weight attached to the middle of the knitting on the side where you are making the short rows. At some point you can lower the front bed and rehang the weight higher on the knitting. Otherwise you may jam the machine. Now you already know how to knit short rows. Go and make this super simple doily as an exercise. Then don't forget to send me a photo on my Facebook page. That's all for today. Have a nice day and see you in my next video.